and welcome to this video tutorial for the target manager. Now the target manager is our newest function in the FS Pro for Word software. And as you can see, it is located right over here next to the publishing feature. Now in short, what does the target manager or why could you benefit from the target manager? Now this new function allows you to create one master document or you could start from one master document and create multiple versions from this one master document. Now let's say I have this small document right over here about information mapping and I want to have a version from this document for new prospects, new clients, and I want to have a version for existing clients. Now, instead of creating two separate documents, one from, for the new prospects and one for existing documents, I want to have one master document. Yeah. And this is why the target manager is so interesting or why it's so useful to uh, use. Because I can start from this one document and have one publication for my new prospects and a publication for my existing clients. So it allows you to uh, use or to benefit from single uh, source publishing. That's in in a nutshell, why the target man manager is so beneficial. Now, how does it work? Very easy. First of all, you're going to create your targets. And you can easily do that by the target manager, of course. So you click and then you see this dialog box popping up. Now, create a new target. Very easy. You just uh, define your target, let's say, new prospects. By default, uh, the target manager already uh, indicates, okay, new prospects will be targeted by this blue color. Yeah, I can change this if I want to by just clicking on the color itself. And I can say, I wanna have my new pr uh, prospects targeted in green. I just simply click on the plus and it will be added in my list of available targets. Now, my new clients or my existing clients can be targeted as well and I will attribute uh, the red color to existing clients. Click on the plus and you see my existing clients are also available in my list of available targets. Now I'm going to apply these targets to my new document or to my documents. Very easy, just click on apply. Very good. Now if I go back to my target manager, I see the same exact targets that I just defined and I can simply create new ones if I want to over here. Now, in my outline pane, as you can see, I have a document with four maps. Why information mapping the company, why information mapping the methodology, the map what is information mapping, and the map FS Pro forward. Now, there are some maps that should be published only for my new prospects. There are maps that should be published for both, so for new prospects and for existing clients. And there are maps perhaps that or only or should only be published for my existing clients. And I can easily define that in my outline pane. Yeah. Now you see what has changed in the outline pane is the um, this small icon right over here at the very right that has been added. This is why I, where I can easily say, okay, this map, just by clicking on that small bullet, this map should be available only for my new prospect, or should be published only for my new prospects. So I'm just gonna check this box, new prospects. Very good. Now my second map, why information mapping the methodology, yeah, just clicking on the bullet, should be 
available or should be published for both targets. So it should be published for my new pro prospects and for my existing clients. Yeah. Then what is information mapping? Is a map yeah, that should be only published for my existing clients. And then FS Pro for words is a map that I want to have published for both again. So checking the two boxes, yeah. So if I filter now my documents, and I can easily do that right over here, let me see, or I wanna see the maps only for my new prospects. I just check this box, I apply the filter. And as you can already see, yeah, of the four maps that I have in my documents, only these three, the first two and the last one, uh, will be shown. So I apply the filter, yeah. And as you can immediately see in my outline pane as well, this map, what is information mapping, won't be visible in my document because I just filtered on the maps that should be published only for the new prospects. And that is exactly the case. I see why information mapping in the company, I see why information mapping the methodology. What is information mapping is not visible. Yeah. And then FS Pro for Word, this map is also visible. Yeah. If I filter now on the maps only for existing clients, yeah. The first map, why information mapping the company won't be visible. Yeah, because this is the only map that should be published for new pro uh, prospects. So I apply the filter and as you will see, my document now will start from why information mapping the methodology. And this is exactly the case. Yeah. Now, single source publishing, I can publish or create an online publication uh, for either my new prospects or either for my existing clients. Yeah. So this is exactly the same manipulation that you do when you just publish, make an, an, a regular online publication. You just go to publish. Yeah. You give your publication a name, information mapping. Filter your targets. I want to create an online publication only for my existing clients. I check this box. Standard publishing layout, this is okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. I won't add a password. So if we look back at our on outline pane for the existing clients, I will only see in my online publication, the maps, uh, why information mapping, the methodology, what is information mapping and FS Pro for words. So I click on publish. This is exactly the same thing as you know for regular online publications. I go to the publication. So remember, only these three maps should be visible. And if I go to the publication, yeah, I indeed see why information mapping the methodology, what is information mapping, and FS Pro for words. Yeah. Now, if I go back to my online to my FS Pro document, I can create another publication, but for my new prospects from this document as well. Yeah, so I only need one document to create two publications for each time for one target. So I do the same thing, publish, information mapping, prospects, for example. Yeah. Filter your targets, new prospects, standard publishing layout, perfect. Yeah. So which maps should be visible in my online publication? Why information mapping the company? Why information mapping the methodology? And FS Pro for words. I publish. If I go to the publication, you will see indeed why information mapping the company, 
why information mapping the methodology and FS Pro forward. Yeah. So I have two online publications from one FS Pro document, and I was able to decide in my FS Pro document this map should be visible only for my new prospects. These maps should only be visible for my existing clients. Single source publishing. That is the great benefit of this target manager.